Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know that I'm using a new program to record and edit this video. So if you do want me to keep using it, don't forget to leave a comment and like the video. And uh, yeah, enjoy the video guys. Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these really cool uh, style of logos. Obviously I didn't make the face logo, you guys know that. But um, the, I made this cool layer style, it's kind of, well, I suppose you can call it a layer style, but a, kind of the illustrator version of it. And yeah, it's really cool and yeah, you can do this to your own logos. And yeah, it looked really nice and you can actually use these on your banners and anything like that. So uh, yeah, I'm going to show you how to do this. And um, I, what you might see during this tutorial a lot is like you can see kind of graphical errors on the screen. I don't know why it's happening. So uh, if you could just ignore it, I suppose that would be appreciated. But it does fix when I zoom out and then zoom back in. You can see that it all goes. But um, yeah, if you do see a bit of that, then I apologize. But uh, yeah, okay, let's get right into it. So first off, what we are going to need is this appearance tab. So if you don't have it on the side right here, what you're going to need to do is you need to go to window and appearance, which is right there, and it'll open this, which will basically where we can add all of our colors and everything like that to the logo uh, to make it this, to make it look like this. And uh, yeah, so first off, what we need to do is we need to make it a compound path. And to do that, all we need to do is press command eight. And um, now you can see that, um, that is kind of like, well, you can see that it loses its color and it ha now has no fill or no stroke. And um, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our fill just by clicking there. And then we can just double click here and then we're going to pick any color. It doesn't really matter right now just because we're going to be adding a gradient uh, a bit later on. So uh, we're just going to pick, we'll go for the orange, we'll go for the same colors that we used here. So yeah, okay, we've got our orange here, and now we're going to add our first stroke. So you just want to click on this icon in the bottom left of the, window, of the appearance tab, and then basically, as you can see, we'll open this stroke. And you're just going to increase it a bit. I think I'm going to use about 8 pixels, and then we're going to click on the word stroke, and then we have all these settings that we can use for our stroke. And um, I'm going to align stroke to the inside, so just right click on this little icon here, and now you can see that the stroke is on the inside of the phase logo. Uh, just the way we want it. So now we've done that we can just change our um, our our Weight of the stroke just by increasing this number or decreasing it right here And um, I'm going to change the color to a white. So let's just go to our stroke icon over here Just change it to a white just like that and um, Now you can kind of see it cut the stroke kind of takes away from the actual logo And that's just because we made it white so to fix that what we're going to do is we're going to go to our opacity and just lower the opacity, and I completely misclicked there. Um, let's just lower the opacity down, and there you can see that we've actually kind of made a cool little indent in the in the logo. And yeah, it, it looks nothing like this just yet, but uh, we'll get there. And uh, actually, I think I'm gonna decrease the, the weight a bit. Okay, that is cool. And uh, now we're gonna move on to the other strokes. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on our fill again, then we're going to add a new stroke and we're going to drag it below our fill. And uh, it will be white as default just because we uh, the last one we did was white. So what we're going to do is we're going to change it to a dark grey, so um, or a lighter black if that kind of makes sense. Then we can just increase the stroke, but you won't be able to see it when you increase it just because it's still in aligned to the inside. So what you want to do is when they click on the stroke uh, color and then... Um, Oh wait, no, never mind. It's not because <laughs> it's not because um, it was aligned to the inside. It's because we hadn't actually clicked on our logo. So everything you do, you must select have your logo selected. Otherwise, nothing will happen, uh, and you'll embarrass yourself like I just did then. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna redo this. We're gonna click on our stroke and then drag it below our fill, and then we can increase it. And I can actually you, can't, you still can't see it because it's white. So what we're gonna do is gonna make it a dark uh, dark gray again, just like we did before. And uh, now you can see that we've got our colors and um, well our dark gray and you can actually see it so actually I'm gonna increase it just a bit more and okay there we go you can kind of see that it's still well actually no yeah never mind uh, if you do have like a flat edge uh, I thought I had a flat corner here but it was just a graphical error but sometimes you do actually get flat corners uh, like this you can see that um, the corners are kind of cut off so if you do have that issue you just want to click on your logo then click on the stroke and then increase the limit right here so i'm going to increase it to about five i think that'll be good and then we can just zoom in zoom out just to get rid of the graphical error and uh yeah now you can see that we have these pointed arrows and uh just the way we want them and they look really nice and i think we're going to increase them just a bit more um okay let's go and uh, okay so now we've done that we're going to actually add our final stroke so we're going to do is going to click on the very bottom where it has opacity add our stroke oh never mind you didn't 
There's now once you've done that, you just want to click, drag it down below to the very bottom, and then you want to just increase it. And again, I didn't have my logo. Yeah, make sure you have your logo selected at all times, like I said before. And then we just drag our stroke down. We're going to increase it. Okay. And now we're going to add a. Um, now we're going to add a gradient, just like in our example. So once we've selected our stroke, which is right here, we're going to click on the middle icon, which is the gradient. So not the not the. Uh, this is the fill. This is the gradient, and then this is the transparent. So you're just going to click on gradient, and um, now you can see that we've already got this cool. Um, outside kind of colors so once you've done that I think I'm going to increase the stroke just a bit more and again I'm gonna to have to keep zooming out and zooming in just because of these errors I don't know why uh, if any of you know why then just let me know in the comments and I'll fix that just for my future tutorials and um, yeah but when when you click on the gradient I think your your gradient will be black and white but just because mine uh, already has this color just because I did it just before so it's just gonna use the the gradient that I used before so um if yours is black and white, you want to have your gradient window open. So if you don't have that open, go to window and then gradient. And um, so yeah, yours would be black and white. What you would need to do is you, want, you would need to click on, um, you would need to click on your color. Or I think this one would be the white. So you just click there and then make sure this is an RGB. So click on this corner icon, click on RGB. Uh, it should, I think you by default, it'd be on grayscale like this. So you just want to change it to RGB. And then I, t I kind of just literally just find, you, you just use the sliders and find a color that you like. You can just copy these codes if you wanted, if you want the exact same color. So you could just copy that that code and paste it in. And then the same here as well. Also want to make sure that your angle is the right. So I want to, I think by default it'd be on zero. But when it's on zero, you can see that it kind of goes from the the, the brighter red or the like the hot pink to the orange horizontally and we want it to be vertically so we're just going to change the angle to I think minus 90 and uh, actually no I didn't have my logo selected and so we're just going to do that again and actually no, okay so it's, now it's going from hot pink to an orange and we want it to be the other way around so we're just going to change it back to 90 and there you go you can see that we have our color of our stroke nice and uh, yeah it looks pretty cool right now and now it's pretty much the same as our example um, maybe uh, actually, I'm going to increase this background stroke a bit. Um, yes, now they're pretty much just uh, they're pretty similar. We're almost finished. Now we just need to add the same gradient to this uh, fill of the logo in the middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on our fill, which is right here. Then we're just going to click on the gradient, and then we'll use the gradient that we last used on the stroke. And there we go. It is exactly the same as the example. It looks really nice. And uh, yeah, it's a really cool technique. You can do this for your logo. It looks really nice in avatars. I think I've seen a few people use this technique in their avatars and it looks really, really nice. And uh, yeah, so if you found this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.